Built in 2002, Verado has been around for well over a decade, and this is actually one of the very first community facility districts that didn't go by the whole desert cookie cutter feel that you usually see here in Arizona. This is nothing compared to any of the other neighborhoods that you're going to find here in the valley. Maybe Marley Park, maybe there's a few in Gilbert, maybe there's a few in Scottsdale, but here in Verado, you're definitely not going to get that cookie cutter feel. You're not just going to get that, um, that stucco look on your home. You're going to get a very unique architectural feel with your homes here in Verado. And we're going to show you a little bit of B-roll on that. So here's one of custom homes that are being built right on the edge of the White Tank Mountain. This is White Tank Mountain Regional Park right here. And there is so much land to build on, you guys. This is insane. All of these white poles out here, I don't know if you guys can see them. All of these white poles, this is where they're building. This is where it's sectioned off. Now here in Arizona, you cannot build up at a certain point. You can't go on top of the mountain um, just for, you know, uh, this part. It's just how we are out here. We don't like to take away those views from people. So we like to keep them, keep them open and keep it, you know, open for desert life. And that's exactly what they're doing here. So when we're gonna turn this corner right here, we're gonna view a few custom builds here in Verado. These are now, now these are mansions. <laughs> these are huge. So here's one right here. To I, I feel like a tour guide. I said, here's one right here to our left. But this is beautiful, beautiful. Right on the mountain, like look at that. So Verado is definitely one of the communities that broke that mold. And here in Verado, you get a very small town-like charm. I know I spoke on Verado a little bit on some of my past videos, but I wanted to really dive into it and because it deserves a video of its own. That is how amazing Verado is. And, and honestly, I'm not even going to be able to go into all detail about how much Verado has to offer on one video. That's how much this community has to offer. It is the biggest, the largest community facility district here in the West Valley. I have a lot of clients wanting to visit a Stray Mountain Ranch. They think they want to move there and then they say no and then they choose Verado. So a lot of people move here thinking they want one or the other. They think they want Verado and then they move to a Stray Mountain Ranch or they think they want a Stray Mountain Ranch and then they choose to move to Verado because they both have a lot of the same amenities. They both have hiking trails, gyms, restaurants, shops, uh, you know, community events. They're so, so similar. Hiking trails, off-roading. On Verado's tree-lined streets, you will find that front porch parties and community events just happen naturally. They happen organically. So here in Verado, you're going to find a lot of trees like this. Literally winding every single street here in Verado. If you don't see these, that means you are no longer in the community of Verado. And I'm actually right here on the main market street where you can find restaurants, bars, shops that you can literally walk right outside your front door and go into within five minutes. It is insane. There's so much to do here. Speaking of so much to do, if you're looking for more of an outgoing lifestyle, wanting to get outdoors, wanting to really, you know, explore the communities, if you're 55 plus and older, Verado's got it made for you. There are so many amenities here for you. And if you're looking for a new build, there's a ton here too. There's over 40 plus model homes here in the Verado community that you guys can take a tour of. If you have questions about them, you can always reach out to me and let me know. With over 21 miles of hiking trails and biking trails here in Verado, there's so much opportunity for you to go out and explore with the family. If you are in that 55 plus range, there is so much for you to do out here as well. There, all the trails ring from easy to, to more, you know, streetiness. But most of the trails out here in Verado are extremely easy. And if you've never hiked before in your life, you can definitely do it. It's, it's insane, insane out here. It is so, so amazing. amazing.
And this community is so well planned that each park, there's over 75 plus parks here in, in the Verado area. So if you're looking to visit a park, all of the parks are about two blocks away from your front doorstep. So it's insane. Literally, that's how well they tried to plan this community and how precise they tried to make it. And it's, it's definitely worked out. It's definitely been one of the top communities here in Arizona. And they're starting to compare Verado to Scottsdale, to Old Town Scottsdale as well. So it's really unique. And you guys, there's 70 five plus parks here like I don't think there's anywhere else in, in Arizona that has that many neighborhood parks all right <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy so you get you can you can't even go like if you decide to go to a park every weekend one park each weekend you're still not going to get to all of those parks in one year what? what? That's unheard of. That's unheard of, right? So it's so much to do for the family. Now, if you are in that 55 plus range, like I said, there's a lot for you out here as well. They have 55 plus communities here in Verado from, and you know, if, and if you're not in that age range, if you guys are looking to move here, they have condos, they have townhomes, they have resale homes, they have custom homes, they have new builds, a ton of new builds, over 40 plus new builds here in the Verado community alone. So if you guys have questions, like I said, definitely give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'll be here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. So you may be wondering, so you guys are probably thinking, okay Kim, how far is Verado from downtown Phoenix? It's about 25 miles and it's gonna be about 30, 35 minute drive, depending on the time of day. Now, if you're trying to go to Sky Harbor, Sky Harbor is gonna be about 45 minutes from here, depending on the traffic. So it's not too bad. It's not like you're driving an hour, hour and a half. So that's a good thing for you guys if you're looking to move here. It is on the outskirts and you know, it is a little bit further out of the city, but with the new 303 coming here, um, the, with the new addition to the 303 right off the I-10, you guys will be able to get to downtown a whole hell of a lot faster than if you just took the I-10. So that is coming and that's coming soon. As far as the price point for homes here in Verado, we're looking around that $430,000 price point, and that is for a resale home, that's for a condo, that's for anything out here. That is the average price point for homes here in the Verado community, and that's actually Buckeye as a whole. So Verado is in Buckeye here in Arizona, so it's on the outskirts a little bit, and it's very, very large, and it's growing a ton. So even if you're not here in the main heart of Verado, you can still go on the outskirts a little bit. They have a new fries coming up, they have a burger King right next to Verado High School and they they're, they're growing a lot. There's a lot of commercial businesses coming out here to Verado as well and there's like I said this is like a small town feel so anything that you need is going to be here. They have a Circle K, they have um, you know attorney's offices, they have brokerages, they have medical facilities, schools, restaurants, shops, grocery stores, anything that you need so that you don't have to leave Verado. Like how crazy is that? So if you want to live out here and you're wondering you know what it's like this this is just a very, very small amount. So if you guys have questions, like I said, please give me a call because there is so much more that Verado has to offer. So if you guys have questions, definitely give me a call. And if you guys are looking to move here, keep in mind, I am an Arizona licensed realtor here in the state of Arizona, helping people move here every single day, literally from all over the US. I am getting phone calls, text messages, and emails nonstop daily. So you can always give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, and I am here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. Thank you guys so much for watching my video.